It may sound alarmist, but around the world, healthcare workers agree antibiotic resistance could pose a greater risk than terrorism. I think it may well be a bigger threat than terrorism in the long term. Currently, we are sitting in a situation in the intensive care units which represent the pinnacle of therapy overall where sometimes we have organisms that are resistant to all known antibiotics. In 2014, 700,000 deaths were recorded globally as a result of antimicrobial resistance. That's according to a study commissioned by the British government. It knows no boundaries. It doesn't need a passport. It doesn't need a visa. It cuts across all levels and all sectors of society. Reports suggest by 2050 the figure will rise to 10 million deaths annually, more than the death toll to cancer and diabetes combined. One of the biggest problems is hospital-acquired infections, also known as superbugs. Now, these organisms are extremely resistant to antibiotics, especially when they haven't been treated correctly. But the real issue is when they become resistant to last resort antibiotics, then the results can be deadly. He spent six weeks in ICU before he passed away. Statistics on the subject vary and certainly hospitals are reluctant to admit that superbugs might be rampant. But experts say the rate of infection is somewhere between 14 and 50 percent. The surge in microbial resistant organisms is being linked directly to an increased consumption of antibiotics, says Dr. Kim Foray from the Center for Disease Dynamics, Economics and Policy. And the old saying is true, prevention is better than cure. Infection control in our hospitals and health facilities must be everybody's business. It's now widely accepted that we are fast approaching the post-antibiotic era. Research and development can't keep pace with the ever-adapting organisms. Some can adapt in a matter of hours, while developing new drugs takes years. The pipeline of antibiotics actually shows that the ones that are now going to be generated and coming out of this innovation system and the research um, cycle are very expensive. So we probably won't be able to afford to have those in the country. It's a big wake-up call for the medical profession who can't deny we're facing a healthcare tsunami. In response, the DG has set up an antibiotic stewardship program.